All right, Rob, uh, go ahead and tell us uh, what we're going to be doing right now. Well, I'm just going to do a little demonstration of how to make an augmented reality app. It's a little 3D placement app that allows you to look through a screen, through a camera, and track an object in 3D space in real time on a physical marker. So I'm going to do a little demo for our boys at NL3DP and show you guys what's up with augmented reality. Awesome. So this is what we'll use for the marker image. Uh, you really want an asymmetrical picture first and foremost. High contrasts, hard lines, there's a lot of things that work really well to help a computer use its computer vision to determine the angle of the placement of the 3D object. Only the skew of the angle of that image tells the, the 2D skew of the angle of that image tells the computer how to pl plant the rotation and angle of the object in 3D space. So that's really important when you're designing augmented reality apps, a lot of people don't think about or know, is that you need to design your marker first and foremost really efficiently. And if you don't have that designed well, you're gonna have bugs and problems in your app that don't really exist. They just come from the marker. Space is set. I've already programmed this creator space. This is an augmented reality creation app called Matayo. It's tied into a software development kit called Matayo SDK. And I've already programmed this 3D space to hold this image, and I've already made the image marker already. So what I'm going to do is going to find a YouTube video from our boys at NL3DP, and we'll make an AR app with their video in 3D space. Why don't you grab us that paper with the 3D logo and the QR code? So when you export a channel to the Matayo server, it'll give you a QR code. Okay. And that QR code is all you have to supply to anyone who wants to use the app. When they look at a business card or a print flyer with your marker built in, it can be anywhere placed inside of that app, nice. that, that ad. Your QR code is all you need to give to any client, to any, anybody you want to share it with. So once you have the, the app downloaded, you just look at the No Limit 3D Productions logo and it'll implant your video in 3D space. Let's take a closer look at that. That literally Rod is playing our video right now just by somebody scanning it, that QR code, is that correct? Wow. And the, all you're looking at is the marker image of the NL3DP logo. That's, That's your awesome. marker. Once you scanned the QR code, the next time you look at the marker, it'll instead populate with a video implanted in 3D space, whatever orientation it is. That's pretty badass. That's the future. Your business card can play video. <laughs> I'm trying to close this up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We want to thank Rob dance. Wilson. You're welcome. No problem. Whenever you look at the No Limit 3D P Productions logo, a video will play in 3D space. But it will never play, because of course it's, it just doesn't work. It's there though, in 3D, it's holding tight. My marker's good. It's the video. Marker's good, what's wrong with the video? Yeah, you tell me, bro. Beta error is several. I'm gonna give it two f***s. Uh-huh. I'm gonna give it two f***s. You already tested it. It looks great. This ain't my job. It was for my job. Perfect, nigga. Burger. It's true. It's true. This pro bono get the kinks out where